The history of the Gilmores on the property predates the farmer's market. My great-grandfather, Arthur, he acquired the property in 1880, and he was operating it as a dairy farm. And some years after they were operating it as a dairy farm, they discovered oil on the property. And with that, he developed the Gilmore Oil Company, and that evolved into the largest distributor of oil products west of the Mississippi. Well, in 1934, the property was being mostly used for a stadium that had uh, midget car races and boxing matches and rodeos and all sorts of entertainment venues on it. And the south end of the property was just a parking lot. So in 1934, at the heart of the Great Depression. A couple of entrepreneurs trying to find a way to survive approached the Gilmore Company and suggested that the land might be used for a combination village and farmers market. Los Angeles County in fact was the largest cash producing agricultural county in the nation until after World War II. So there were many many farmers in the San Fernando Valley, San Gabriel Valley, and West Los Angeles area who were available to sell their crops directly to the public. And on July 14, 1934, 18 tenants came to the corner of 3rd and Fairfax. Twelve of those were farmers who sold right out of the back of their trucks on that very first day. Almost immediately the concept was so popular that the farmers and others began asking for permanent stalls and began to build them. And literally, over the course of that summer, Farmer's Market as we now know it grew up at the corner of 3rd and Fairfax and became massively popular. Very soon after the farmers were settled here, the very first restaurant, McGee's Restaurant, which is still here, arrived. And it was so successful that a variety of restaurants serving a variety of cuisines arrived. You can literally eat your way around the world simply by visiting Farmer's Market. The market is unique in the manner of it being family. Not only the market itself is owned and operated by the Gilmore family, but the tenants within the market are, are family and multi-generational families themselves. We are a full grocery store first and foremost. We have fruits and vegetables, we have two butcher shops, we have a fishmonger, we have several bakers, we have a spice shop. Surrounding those shops there are souvenir shops. Well, aside from its longevity, which is pretty unique in Los Angeles, I think that the market is unpretentious, it's unassuming, it's a very comfortable place to be in, it's at a very human scale. You can be in the market and enjoy the Southern California sky above you and at every turn you find something different and unusual. Mm -hmm.